All right, YouTube, here it is. So what you have before you is a, I believe a 2000 or 2001 Polaris 455 Sportsman Diesel. That's right, you heard me right, diesel. cap on it. It does start to run. So I got this thing for a pretty good deal. Um, I'm not going to list it on camera, but I got it for a pretty good deal for a used four-wheeler. It does have its problems. Uh, things that are not broken. It does start and run. It has brand new batteries that came with it. All the tires hold air. All of the axles are good, the four-wheel drive works, the brakes work, the steering's tight. The things that are wrong with it, the front struts are clapped, the, uh, they don't, I'll show you. The, um, the actual struts don't have any uh, give anymore, so it's just bouncy. That's one problem, not really big, but you know, I don't think this thing goes fast enough to worry about. Um, the biggest thing that there's a problem with is the head gasket. So, as I did on the Kawasaki, I had to pull the head and rebuild the engine on that one. I'll be doing the same on this one. Now, I'm only changing the head gasket, and it's only failed a little bit. Like, coolant's not getting into the oil, coolant's not getting into the combustion chamber, but combustion gases are getting into the coolant. So you start it up, it blows open the radiator cap. So there's that. Other than that, I mean, it needs a little prettying up. It is missing bolts because they had it apart. I'm going to take it apart too. But, this is your intro to it. I'll start it up and run it for you in a second. But this is going to be a back burner project because I'm not taking an engine apart until I have a new building. And that's my building so far. It's just sand. So, until I have my new building, this is going to sit either right here or most likely storage to keep it out the weather. And uh, it'll be a back burner. And once the new building's built, this will be the first project. I'll pull the engine apart, rebuild it. And honestly, don't don't count on this, but my plan for this is to lift it and put some serious tires on it. Because it is a diesel, it is not fast, but it has all the torque. So I'm going to show you. Let's see. So this is a 455. Let's go over here. We'll look with the Honda 420. Let's show you the size of the axle shafts on this thing. So, these are the axle shafts on the Honda. They're, you know, maybe three-quarters of an inch, five-eighths of an inch, you know, in diameter. Now, let's look at the axle shafts on this. They're about one and a quarter inch. That's the axle shafts on this one. They are muy grande. The actual U-joints and everything. They made this thing two-toe parts but uh it was green all the body panels are green so unless someone swapped all the body panels it's a later model diesel i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause y'all and move y'all where y'all can see the smoke when it starts just think of that all right give me a second i gotta ghetto rig it
lizard didn't appreciate that. It has that, that nice smell. So, that's the intro to the Polaris diesel. I will be rebuilding it. It's just going to be a matter of time. I have to build a building first. And that is waiting on, I have all my permits and stuff. I am waiting for AT&T to come deal with their podium that is in my way. So, this is your intro to the new project. Hopefully y'all like it. I know there's not many of these, so it's pretty rare. Like, really rare if I think about it. But uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Have an awesome day.